Good evening, and we welcome you into the Dedman Center here in Radford, Virginia for tonight's game with Walford and your Radford Highlanders. I'm Thomas Dells alongside the radio broadcast voice of the Highlanders, Joey Troncali. And Joey, two nights ago these Highlanders lost 75-42 to Coastal Carolina. What needs to happen differently for this team to get back on track? Well, I think first of all you have to shoot better. 25% uh, from the field for the Highlanders on Saturday against Coastal is not going to cut it. It's not going to cut it against any opponent. And in their previous two games against Liberty and against William & Mary, they have really shot the ball a lot better. So I think, first of all, you just have to do a better job of scoring some baskets uh, today for Radford. And I think that you got to come out with a little bit more fire if you're the Highlanders as well. Coastal Carolina got off to a really quick start. 12-0 before you could blink an eye, and I think that was a, a big difference maker in the game for the Highlanders. Definitely, and Wofford comes in tonight's game 3-5, and five, but two of those wins coming against Big South schools that they already knocked off, UNC Asheville and Charleston Southern. Who are some of the difference makers for this team? I think you want to look at Chanel Stokes and Jordan Frazier. Both of those two can create some havoc on defense. They've averaged about six steals together combined. Jordan Frazier is averaging four steals per game. That's above her margin of three steals per game from last year in which she was third in the nation. So this team is going to create a little bit of problem on the defense for Radford, and they're going to look to get steals. They had 50 points off of turnovers against Montreal College on Saturday. So I think that'll be one of the key points of this game. How does Radford do handling the ball and keeping the turnovers to a minimum? And Joey, we know that Ayanna Avery can score the basketball. One of the bright spots on Saturday's game was Ayanna setting the school record for career three-pointers. Who else on this Radford team needs to step up to keep this offense more consistent? Well, I think it comes down to Aisha Foy and Claudia Quevedo doing a better job of handling the basketball and being the floor general, that point guard that can kind of be a calming presence out there when things can get a little bit dicey. Maybe Wofford goes on a bit of a run. Uh, they're starting to create those turnovers that we talked about. You need that calming force at the point guard position. I think especially Aisha as a junior uh, has to do that tonight for Radford to have success. And the Highlanders look to break their three-game losing streak tonight here at home. For Joey Trancali, I'm Thomas Delves. Up next, the Walford Terriers and the Radford Highlanders here on the Big South Network. <laughs> 